So what you need to do is let's go into the Oracle repo or Docker images and let's find the Oracle Java directory. Then inside here, you're going to see a subdirectory called Java-8. There's a directory for each major version of Java, 8, 9, and there's also, there's also one for Windows. And each one of these directories contains a Docker file for building a Docker image for that version of Java. So if you look inside this directory, we can see that there's a build.sh, which is a handy build script. The Docker file, file itself, which actually is like a build file, a make, think of it as a make file for Docker images. And if we take a look at this, we can see here what the Docker build file is doing. Um, the from statement here declares a base image that we're going to build on top of. Oracle provides a slimmed down version of Oracle Linux 7 uh, that we're going to build on top of. So this will be pulled down. We're not actually going to build the Oracle 7 slim image. This is already built and it's stored and maintained on Docker Hub. So when we build the Oracle JDK, excuse me, JRE 8 image, Docker will automatically download Linux 7 and we'll build on top of it. Uh, maintainer, this is the maintainer, the person who maintains this code over at Oracle. And then here we can see that we're defining two environment variables. And the add command actually is essentially copying uh, data from one location to another. So the add command here is going to be copying the server JRE8 package over to user slash Java. The user slash Java is a directory inside the container. This directory is, does not exist on your host, your host being the server or workstation that you're currently logged into right now. And then the run command is simply a series of commands that are executed during the build process. Okay, this file is used during the build process of this container image. So you can see here that we're essentially performing an installation of the server JRE8 and then setting up a bunch of soft links to point back to Java. There's another important file in here. Um, you'll see that throughout all the Oracle Docker directories, there's a dot download file. If you take a look at this file, it provides a handy dandy link and a hash for verifying the downloaded file. So you can see here that, you know, if I wanted to build the Java 8 image, I've got a handy dandy link here I can go to to download uh, server Jerry 8. So I'll have this link in the description. You can also find it in any of the dot download files that are in the Docker repo. Let's take a look at the build script really quick. They've provided a handy, a shortcut build script here. So you can see the build.sh just does a docker build dash t and then the name of the image itself. So Oracle slash server jerry8 and then the period is the current working directory where it can find the docker file or where it's going to build the image. So what we need to do is the jerry8 that we downloaded needs to be in this directory, it needs to be in the same directory as the Docker file because that's where the Docker file is going to be looking for it. So let's just copy that file over if I remember where I put it. Okay. So I've got my server Jerry tarball and I've got my Docker file. So let's go ahead and run the build.sh script. And what's happening now is the Docker build command is working its way through line by line in the Docker file. So it's downloading the Oracle Linux 7 Slim from Docker Hub. You can see that here. And then it will go on to, to copy over the JRE image and start installing it. Okay, once the build is done, you can verify that the image was built successfully. Just run a Docker images command. And you can see here, I've got other applications um, in my Docker registry that I've built before, but you can see here that you should have not only an Oracle Linux 7 Slim, but an Oracle Server JRE 8. And this you can see here the size of these images and how long ago they were created. So we've just built our Server JRE image. The next thing for us to do is now build a WebLogic image. Uh, the WebLogic image will contain an installation of Oracle WebLogic 12C.